This is a pillow made from a t-shirt that was a favorite t-shirt and I have used only a t-shirt so the fringe and everything uh, came from the shirt and I want to show you how to do this and just amazing because that was such a favorite shirt there were two and so <clears throat> It's a man's shirt, so it's a large. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be a man's shirt, but <clears throat> it was a large shirt. And so what I want you to know is what you need. First of all, you need a t-shirt with some kind of a design on it. And there might be one on the back. You might want to save the back or and do a different kind of fabric for the back or you could always put a front and a back on the same pillow. So <clears throat> the one thing that you'll need is some stuffing, polyester stuffing. You will need either a rotary cutter and a ruler with a mat also because you don't want to cut your table or you need will need some scissors <clears throat> and then you also will need some type of an interfacing and um, I'm going to show you up close but I don't know for sure if you can see the detail of the difference but I have two interfacings here one is real uh, kind of eight-way stretch so everywhere that I pull this it stretches and it has almost like a little V uh, in the weave and this one right here <clears throat> is also a possibility I'm going to decide after I cut and test this is just a real loosely woven soft interfacing so I'm going to, these are both fusible and on this side it's rough and so I'm going to decide that once I do my um, tester, testing. So <clears throat> what I want to do, and also you might want to have a marker and maybe an, a, a seam gauge. So what I want to do in making this is I want to make sure that I have the bottom part of this as the fringe and the fringe is going to need to go all the way around the pillow but I want to make sure that I have the whole design in the pillow and I want to do I want to have at least I'm just guessing right now if I have an inch and a half I have to have a seam allowance too and I do can make a two inch um, end here, uh, side, or whatever you want to call it, because I don't want to get into my sleeve. So I'm looking at that, so I'm going to make sure that I'm not going to hit the sleeve. And I'm just going to mark those two inches uh, just in, you know, one spot that's the widest. So there's the widest spot there, and on this side, this is the widest spot. So when I take that widest spot, actually, I want to be sure that I'm straight. And then at the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take two inches from the design and I'm only going to make one one little mark and the reason why I'm only going to make one mark is because if I mark uh, all the way across according to the design the design is not square so I might get off on that and so I'm going to do this top part and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut using my ruler and my rotary cutter. And I'm going to take this right here, maybe extend this 
line so that I know this line on this side. As you can see, I'm going to extend this line up on the sides. before I cut just because I want to make sure that I don't go past things so here's this line and you just have to kind of wing it um, as far as being completely straight because there's nothing to really keep you exactly in this now this is a water soluble pencil or pen or whatever you want to call it marker and so um, it will go away and I'm wanting that to happen so um, I want to be sure that I I do that okay now there's the bottom so as you can see I have a pretty wide area to work with so I actually have a half inch seam allowance on here all right, so now I'm going to either cut it with a pair of scissors or I'm going to cut it with a rotary cutter. And we're just going to go where we marked. Don't go past it because you want that bottom. Don't go all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to cut across here. I'm going to cut across here. That, does, that isn't quite even here. So now I can line up some, some lines on the side because I have a little bit more of a square. All right, so now I, I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what I decided with one of these scraps one of these scraps I'm going to use a piece of this interfacing on both of these I'm going to fuse it on and then I'm going to come back and show you which one I'm going to choose <laughs> 